All right, guys, we uh, have, I just wanted to do a short video. We've got this pressure washer. It's been getting water in the, uh, go and turn it off, water in the oil. pump oil. So we've been fighting it and fighting it and fighting it and couldn't, can't get it off. Ended up tearing the shit out of it, just getting down into it, uh, trying to pry it off here when it was all, you know, uh, all the way up to here. We're prying, used a whole can of PB Blaster. Um, I've even started to kind of cut a little groove in there, and I thought, well, if we can get this cut down in, maybe we can break that chunk off, whatever. But anyway, we're down into here, had to take the whole freaking thing apart, and what I found is I can get my air hammer right into here and pry that off. And some of these, just on this plate, they have two holes that are threaded, and you can actually kind of press it off. Well, this one didn't have that, and we've been fighting this thing, but I just started, I think I've moved it. I'm pretty sure I have. And uh, this air hammer seems to maybe be working, so I'm going to let the compressor build up some more air it's just a little compressor and doesn't doesn't even really have enough for the air hammer but we'll uh hopefully this will work and then i'll order another pump and put that on compressor build back up like I said it's a piece of shit it's like an eight gallon but uh, something's wrong with it you gotta turn it off then wait a minute turn it back on because it won't rebuild air but I think we're on to something here we are for sure you can see the keyway sticking out and that was another thing there's a, a little set screw in here but we didn't even have a set screw like the screw is gone we didn't take it out um, that's supposed to have one in it. But let's let that build up and we'll get this some bitch off here. Are you recording? Yeah. Well, see, we're getting closer. Uh, when I started the video, we was up here somewhere. But I had to turn the air compressor back off again. And then now it's pouring down rain. I don't know if you can see. Well, let's see. Can you see it hitting the air compressor? Yeah, probably. But that's why we're not working. So we'll let that build up and uh, try this again.
not moving. Oh, I'm drinking. Alright guys, so as you see, we got it all the way off. Um, I'm going to have to order a new pump. But I'll uh, get that pump ordered. And then we'll see you back right now. Alright, well our pump has arrived. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and get this thing out of here. Lucky there. Get it out, get it bolted on, and try it out. It is a triple A, let's see, it's a industrial triplex pump, trip, made by triple A, um, and I'll get you the part number, so if you guys have this same uh, pressure washer, then you'll know what to order. Well, I'm not finding a part number on the uh, pump, there is a number, I don't know if that's the the part number eh, get out of there yeah. right here I'm not sure if that's a part number or not but I'll try to find it on uh, Amazon and put it down in the description so this is it it comes already with the uh, downstream injector nipple <clears throat> and new hardware and a new keyway. So let's get this bolted on. And this motor's the the Honda GX390, and it's supposed to fit. So we'll find out right now. All right. So first, I got the shaft cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna put some. Uh, well, I'm gonna put some anti C's on here. I think you guys can see. Then we'll grab the pump. I'll make sure all this uh, little styrofoam particles are gone. Then grab the keyway. Go ahead and slide the keyway in here. I got my bolts. And line up the little notch, little groove right here with the keyway so right about here right there get me a bolt started 
I'm going to anti-seize these bolts too. All right, I got you on the tripod now. Go ahead and get a wrench. It's probably a five eighths, five eighths. Or nine sixteenths, nine sixteenths. <clears throat> Go ahead and get these bolts tightened. All right, so we got the cap put on. They're already pre-filled from the factory. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, unclip this somehow. There we go, just pull it off. <clears throat> and it also comes with the, uh, the hose for the downstream injector. You just plug that in, you can siphon soap or bleach or whatever you use siphon it right through there it's after the pump so it's not going to hurt the pump shouldn't hurt the pump but uh let's get this thing hooked up and see what happens see uh, it works pretty good now we have uh, a couple jobs that we can do with it uh, we've put them off just because I knew the pump needed rebuilt or replaced and uh, I also put a carburetor on it the other day so if that helps somebody I hope it does but if you like the video like comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next video